All right, we're talking about logarithms again. Uh, now, what if you get a logarithm that looks like this? All right, they sneak a little square root uh, up in there. So I always hate it when they do that. But uh, the way to figure this out um, is is pretty simple. Um, first, uh, thing I do is make it look more like that. Some people use X. I don't know why they do that. So, I just use Y. Variable's a variable, right? So, this way it looks a lot more like the original function, Y equals. Because Y is always your exponent. That's what they're asking for anyway. So, why well, confuse things? Y equals log base 5 to square root of 5. And again... Anytime that you got something like this, whatever's on the other side of the equal sign, they're just asking you what the exponent is. You know, more accurately, like that. So, 5 to the y power equals the square root 5, right? So, it's just asking you 5 to what power equals the square root of 5. Now, um, if you remember... Uh, if you just wanted to uh, get an exponent on a 5, like this right here, or find out the square root of 5, remember the, um, uh, in the other video I explained that there's basically a, uh, a pretty shortcut method called the, um, um, the halves, uh, exponent halves, or the exponential of halves, whatever you want to put it. But basically, if you just take the radicand out, Right, and set it to an exponent of a half. And in your calculator, you'll have to put that in parentheses. It'll give you the square root um, of this number right here. Um, so, I'm doing it on this side right here, but it's actually over here. Okay, and they would be the same thing as the square root of 5. And... I know right now it's like, you know, where did you get that? Well, the half is, this, it applies for everything. So if this number five was, say, um, it could be anything, say 100, right? And you didn't want, and you needed an exponent, all you got to do is take 100 and put it to the half power, and it'll give you the same thing as the square root here, which is 10. Well, in this case, when you're working with odd numbers, you're going to get decimals and stuff. So, um, you know, if you were to look up uh, the square root of 5, it would give you something to the effect of uh, 2.23, you know, blase, blase. Well, if you did the same thing over here and took 5, and raise it to the half power. Remember, you're gonna have to put that in parentheses in your calculator. One divided by two, and you pressed enter, you'd get exactly the same thing, 2.3, blase, blase. So, you know that those are equal. Some instructors might have you give the decimal form. Some might let you just get away with knowing that y, the exponent, is equal to half.